Hello everyone, welcome to my Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I post my new videos. Today I will be discussing a concept regarding infrastructure, types of infrastructure and role of civil engineering for the infrastructure development. So first and foremost important thing is that uh, the definition of infrastructure. So infrastructure is nothing but the framework of supporting system consisting of roads, airports, bridges, buildings, parks and other amenities for the comfort of mankind. So infrastructure, it is the framework of supporting system consisting of roads, airports, bridges, buildings, parks and other amenities for the comfort of mankind. So economically infrastructure are the structural system that allow for the production of goods and services without themselves being part of production process. So the word uh, infrastructure is a combination of infra and structures. So next coming on to the next concept that is uh, types of infrastructure so infrastructure basically deals with the first and foremost important type is that transportation so in the transportation we have uh, uh, majorly four uh, modes of transportation that is road network railway ports and harbors airports or air travel so next is uh, communication network so in the communication network we have uh, television network, telephone network and in the telephone network we have uh, landline connections, mobile phone connections. So next is energy sector. So energy sector we have electrification, reduction in energy loss, use of renewable energy such as solar energy, wind energy, biogas plants etc. So next is agricultural activity. So this is the largest uh, economic investment uh, compared to other uh, types of uh, infrastructure forms. So next is uh, the last one is construction activity. So India basically it is the second largest economy uh, uh, compared to other uh, countries. So uh, this is a very important type of infrastructure compared to other types of uh, other types. So first and foremost thing is transportation in uh, uh, subcategory in the transportation we have roadways, railways, port or harbors, uh, airports or airways. So next is communication network. We have uh, two types that is television network, telephone network and in telephone network we have landline and mobile phone connections. So next is the energy sector. We have the electrification, reduction in the energy loss, use of uh, renewable energy sources such as sun, uh, solar, wind, biogas plants, etc. So next is agricultural activity and construction activity. So coming on to the next very important uh, concept that is uh, role of civil engineering, civil engineer in the infrastructure development of a country so first and foremost is that uh, the construction during the construction of road railways airways or harbors so in this uh, way uh, uh, during this construction process the requirement of civil engineering is very important civil engineer is very important so whenever there is a good communication network uh, uh, between the uh, any two states or a country then there will be uh, the overall development of the uh, country so therefore the first and foremost important role of a civil engineer for a infrastructure development is construction of the communication system so here in uh, communication system particularly means construction of roadway railway port harbors and airports so next is uh, construction of dams so for the proper utilization of water resources, the uh, dam construction is very much necessary. So therefore, uh, usage of minimal or economic usage of water plays a very important role in the infrastructure development. So next is uh, construction of uh, uh, housing, 
commercial and industrial complexes so whenever uh, when all these projects uh, uh, number is uh, increased so then uh, we it can uh, result in uh, overall development of a country in particularly with reference to the infrastructure so next is uh, maintenance of all this facility so not only the con uh, civil engineer responsibility is not only for the construction but also he need to take up the responsibility of maintenance of all these uh, facilities so th uh, this is one of the important thing so next is uh, uh, whenever uh, uh for example if the building lifespan is uh, given as 50 years so if it uh, if it collapses below or if it fails uh, within that 50 years then uh, we need to think about that what is the other uh, i mean now uh, the solution for the uh, uh, failure thing so for that we have the technique of, uh, uh, which is called as retrofitting or rebuilding or rehabilitation and repairing so uh, we need uh, civil engineering uh, civil engineer ha should have a responsibility to choose any one among this for the sustainable uh, development of the project so these are some of the roles very important responsibilities or roles of civil engineer in infrastructure development of a country so next important concept here is uh, it can impact of infrastructure on socio-economic development of a country so here first and foremost thing is increase in increase in food production so as and when the uh, i mean uh, all the projects have been increased the agricultural or dam project uh, if it is increased the overall there will be overall development of a country so that all the mankind will be in a uh, sustaining in a uh, stable condition so that uh, it leads to increase in the food production so next is uh, protection from famine uh, drought flood etc so uh, yeah, proper planning of a particular uh, uh, area will uh, uh, will be ha having higher degree of protection from all this constraints or natural disasters so next is uh, uh, safe uh, domestic and industrial water supply so we, uh, we need a uh, civil engineer has to check for the quality of the water which is uh, coming through the domestic or industrial uh, uh, effluence so if it is not feasible then we uh, what are the alternative measures to be taken into consideration in order to make its uh, factor of uh, safety uh, to be increased so that uh, it will be portable so these are some of the things uh, which helpful uh, which are helpful for the socio-economic development of the country so next is um, very important thing is uh, for generation of electricity or hydroelectric power from nuclear hydel thermal solar or wind energy so this is one of the important thing so next is uh, improvement in uh, uh, communication and transportation and then uh, additionally for of wealth to the society what are the additional uh, resources of the uh, what are the uh, routes of, uh, uh, for the additional wealth that has to be encashed by using the infrastructure uh, idea so that the overall social uh, social and economic development of the country will be uh, prospering so next is uh, yeah, uh, if all these things are uh, happening so it leads to pro increase or higher degree of prosperity for the people living in a particular region so next is uh, as i said the improvement in communication and transportation it leads to improvement in communication and transportation so if at all if there is an improvement in communication and transportation it leads to improvement in overall development of the country so that the wealth the prosperity standard of living of the uh, yeah, of the each and every individual living in the particular area will be increased so that it results in the overall socio-economic development of the country so this is all about uh, infrastructure
type of infrastructure, role of civil engineer for the infrastructure development and impact of infrastructure, uh, infrastructure development on socio-economic development of a country. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe the video. Thank you.